Should a citizenship question be placed on the 2020 census form? The U.S. Supreme Court says no, at least for now. The high court ruled five to four to send the issue to a lower court for further review. The Trump administration says it may seek a delay in the census. The citizenship question has prompted a heated national debate. Eyewitness News lead I-team reporter Andy Mahalshik is in our control center now with what it all could mean to the nation and here at home. Andy. Well, Mark, the high court says the Trump administration did not give a good enough reason to have that question on the, on the form. Census information is used to, among other things, determine how many congressmen will represent a state and the amount of federal dollars headed to each state and individual communities. But opponents of the citizenship question say they fear it could suppress the minority vote. The city of Hazleton has a large and growing Latino population. The citizenship census question could deter many of those folks from voting. So says Emil Car Arroyo, the publisher of the Spanish language newspaper El Mensajero. And there is too many other questions, too many other meanings for people that they are not citizens, especially in this time that we see deportation, we see crisis on the, on the border. Arroyo says he has his own suspicions behind the motivation for the citizenship question. He thinks it could suppress the minority vote, who traditionally support Democratic candidates. I have nothing against to know who is citizens and who is not. It's a simple question. But if there is something behind that question, that is what makes me worry. First of all, I'm disappointed in it, but it didn't say no for good. It said no for now. Former Republican Congressman Lou Barletta was the mayor of Hazleton and won his congressional seat in part on the issue of immigration reform. There's this question on what to do with the people that are here illegally, a pathway to citizenship. Well, don't we need to know how many we're talking about? Barletta supports the Trump administration efforts to have the question on the census. More federal dollars will go to big cities that have more people who are in the country illegally. So uh, rural areas such as ours will be shortchanged. More dollars will go to Philadelphia, New York, Chicago, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Uh, so obviously there are Democrat areas and, and more dollars will go to the bigger cities. Political analyst David Yonkai says the issue has to be resolved one way or another to ensure that an accurate count is taken. You're going to have people who may be afraid to actually do that, so you're going to have an undercount. That's going to be terrible in the sense of providing services to areas like this one, like northeastern Pennsylvania, if people aren't going to be participating in it. Now, the Trump administration has not yet said what its next step will be. President Trump tweeted last night his disgust regarding the Supreme Court vote. Reporting in the Control Center, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Thank you, Andy. And the clock is ticking for the Trump administration. The U.S. Census Bureau is supposed to start processing its forms within the next several weeks.